It's never too late for another Lethal Weapon adventure, right? So is the new film confirmed? Well, kind of. We do know that the movie will end on an emotional note, it will be darker than the previous installments, and apparently it will feature something extraordinary. With no further ado, here are some leaked pieces of information about the upcoming Lethal Weapon 5. Just a fair warning, we'll discuss some crazy theories. Let's start off with the best news. Mel Gibson recently confirmed that he's happy to direct Lethal Weapon 5, adding that Danny Glover is certainly returning to reprise his role. A couple of years ago, fans thought Lethal Weapon had no chance of happening anytime soon because other similar franchises performed poorly at the box office. But Bad Boys 3 happened, and it proved that the mixture of nostalgia, good storylines, and a perfect chosen cast ensemble can indeed result in a successful project. I'm too old for this. So what should fans expect from the fifth much-anticipated installment? Well, one thing we know for sure is that the film will be a lot different than its predecessors. Different how? We'll get into this a bit later in the video. As previously mentioned, Mel Gibson already confirmed that he's set to direct the new project, adding that he also discussed this with Danny Glover. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Gibson was asked to share more pieces of information about the film. When asked whether he's happy to direct the next installment, he said yes but wishes he wasn't the one directing. If he had a choice, he would love to see Richard Donner in the director's seat again. Sadly, he's no longer with us. Donner died on July 5, 2021, at the age of 91. Gibson also revealed that before Richard Donner died, he asked him, Hey kid, if I don't make it, you'll take the reins, huh? Gibson agreed and is now honored to be able to carry the flag for him. If Donner trusted Gibson, we have no reason to worry. But even though Donner gave the actor full control of the franchise, he still felt like he wasn't able to do this alone. So he reached out to another person who's an essential part of the franchise, his co-star Danny Glover. The actor revealed to Entertainment Tonight that he called Danny Glover and said, Hey dude, is it okay with you if I direct this? Glover responded, Yeah, let's go. Since the two most important people in the franchise are gonna make an appearance, the project lives on high expectations. But does Lethal Weapon deserve to go beyond its fifth installment? Is the franchise ending with this film? After all, the franchise will return after more than two decades. You go first, I'm really too old for this. You go first, I'll cover you. The first released Lethal Weapon film was quite popular and successful as it introduced us to the best LAPD detectives in the entire history of cinema. We met Martin Riggs, a one-time Green Beret, who wanted to end his life following the death of his wife, and Roger Murtaugh, a 50-year-old veteran who needs help in his job because he's getting too old for it. Played by the amazingly talented Mel Gibson and Danny Glover respectively, the duo returned for the additional sequels, which were, according to some fans, even better than their predecessor. And if we know one thing for sure, it's quite rare to see a nicely done sequel. Joe Pesci, Rene Russo, Jet Li and Chris Rock all made an appearance in the films that took the world by storm. The last Lethal Weapon film we saw was 1998's Lethal Weapon 4. In it, viewers followed the detectives as they went on a difficult mission. They needed to face a crime lord from China, fighting to get his brother out of jail. The fourth installment in the franchise wasn't the best one, that's for sure, but it was still considered a good film. As for the next installment, we know that Gibson will work from a script written by Richard Wenk. We're still waiting for the creators to give an official release date to the project, but we expect to hear one in the following months. I'm gonna make it. You know, there's not enough room! You were right, you know. Yeah, there, there wasn't enough room. Who's he? Into the drag queen. I am getting married or there is no baby. Will you marry me? The movie has been in talks for years, with everyone blaming the studio for the many delays, but now that the film is officially in the early stages of development, an official release date is coming soon. We'll give you an update once we know the exact release date. Unlike everyone else, Danny Glover spilled some details regarding the new film. In his own words, Lethal Weapon 5 will feature something extraordinary. Before we continue, we have to ask you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, there have been some rumors suggesting Lethal Weapon 5 is not happening, but we are here to assure you that this is not true, as Lethal Weapon 5 is indeed happening. What's even better is that Danny Glover, who plays Roger Murtaugh in the franchise, leaked some pieces of information regarding the plot of the film. A year ago, producer Dan Lin revealed that he wants to have director Richard Donner in the project, with both Glover and Mel Gibson reprising their roles. A couple of months later, Danny Glover did an interview during which he was super careful not to reveal some major things about the plot. But he did say that he read a script that he liked, per report by MovieWeb. 
He said that there has been a conversation about this at the beginning of 2022, adding that he really doesn't want to give away the plot of the script that he read. He thinks that the plot had very strong relevance to some of the things that are happening today. The actor further explained that he read the script sometime in the summer of 2021, so he's unsure whether they've alerted the script afterward. Hey, uh, Hubie. Hey, we're looking for a friend of his name, Travis. Yeah. I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. Wrong answer, wrong answer. Oh, you see a young brother in the back of a police car automatically, I'm a perp? Look at his bag. Check out the gun. Okay, okay. Lethal Weapon 5 talks have been happening for years, and fans are tired of waiting, so we really wish the creators to focus more on the film rather than focusing on more projects at once. Per the same report by MovieWeb, Danny Glover also said that if the film happens, we'll see something extraordinary in it. The actor further explained how interesting it would be to see how they take this within the political framework we're in, the economic framework we are in. And especially that framework as opposed to the communities that have been affected by the kind of police violence, the kind of police standards, and the power that they exert as well. And what would be interesting from that vantage point is what that attempt could be like at this particular moment. Okay, am I the only one who loves this perspective? What do you guys think would happen in the fifth installment? Do you have any theories? Freeze, please! I want you to see something, right? She has a gift. Watch this. Make sure to share your theories in the comments, and maybe we'll use them for our next video. To be honest, we have no idea what the plot for Lethal Weapon 5 is. The creators and the cast have been keeping the plot under wraps for all these years, but we do know that the story itself is very personal to him, director Richard Donner, and it's just amazing. That's what Donner told Malton on Movies. In 2017, series creator and one of the most controversial people in history, Shane Black, wrote a 62-page script for the sequel. But this was six years ago, so things must have changed. Back then, Donner told Malton on Movies that the fifth installment is written by a wonderful writer named Channing Gibson. He further explained that they have a really great story, a dark story, and he wants the film to end on an emotional note. This, however, won't happen according to the actor, and he thinks not ending the film on an emotional note is a mistake. So far, Gibson has been accused of misogyny, anti-Semitism, and homophobia, and because of this, a lot of fans think the film would, um, how should we put this, suck. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. In the already mentioned interview, Donner revealed the title of the film Lethal Finale, but then again, six years have passed since, so we don't know whether Lethal Finale will be used. See you in the next video.